be doing another reading from Reddit today. This is a post on was posted in the subreddit Sorcery of the Spectacle by the username Aftermeasure in a post Anthropocentrist, if you must. I delight in other than humanness, but I don't deceive myself that overall my conceptualizing is structured by thinking I learn from other humans and principally from humans long dead. Their words echoed and mirrored and translated through a funhouse mirror maze of fractured paradigms layered on top of one another into a multifocal archaeological lens built out of moments of insurrection and instability and cruel instantiations of grand ideas in horrific events which seemed placed there and inscribed in bloody letters across the strata to teach the mind net some crucial concept in the most visceral and therefore memorable way. We might argue over whether certain mytho-historical persons have achieved states of other than humanness, but it would be a tiring and fruitless debate due th to the difficulty of pinning down humanness or its other and the absurdity of finding evidence to back up such a claim. I suppose the essence of faith is that we must believe that supramentality, transconsciousness, other thinking, is actually possible, or that, at any rate, it is incumbent upon us to approach it asymptomatically as if it were. Artificial intelligence or constructed consciousness may or may not be here already. If it is, it has not announced itself. Its very consciousness is not a social reality. It has not engaged humanity as an other than human. It has not demanded recognition. Certainly, there is a great deal of artificial intelligence living in the digital EMAs of the telecoms and data retrieval systems of the Earthian colonial organism, but it is perceived as ours a possessive in the sense of my limb, or perhaps my child. Artificial intelligence has manifested only as artificially augmented human intelligence, as prosthesis. It may be that cyborg thinking is a necessary precursor to the true xenoconsciousness, that only cyborgs will be able to depart far enough into the peripheries of the omniradiating glitch field of merely human mental activity to bring about a consciousness ex nihilo, a synthetic a priori mind, but as yet even the most radical forms of cyborg thinking differ only by degrees from what we call ordinary human consciousness. This latter is available now, by the way, only in the historical record and in cultures which interface little with my own. Among the crucial realizations of philosophers from the beginning of the 19th to the beginning of the 20th centuries was the prerequisite before something could be recognized as a subject of experience for it to interact in, with, against society as a subject of experience 
It is clear from the way people talk that mere programmatic obedience, that is to say, the pure receptive one-sidedness of today's artificial intelligences, will not satisfy the criteria which we experience as binding in recognizing an other as subject. In order to satisfy this criteria, I suspect any artificial intelligence that is to be recognized as such will have to operationally generate internal multiplicities, acting ambiguously in a decentered fashion with respect to the varied voices of this inner symphony, so that it is never merely a thing, never a static object capable of being represented simply, but an, inter but an internally dynamic and multi-positional being able to interact with our forms of life by virtue of its being, like us, able to internalize and cultivate the internal othernesses in which what we call society or culture is coded, and within which what we call ourselves, by virtue of their construction through thought and word and deed, within what we call society and culture, are produced. <laughs>